All right, verse 11, And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, whose, from whose face the earth and heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. The great white throne and him that sat on it, that's Jesus. All right, notice here it says, Whose face the earth and heaven fled away. So when we go to Revel, or I'm sorry, when we go to um, Matthew 24, it says immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. So let's go to Mark 13. All right, and we see we're going to see the very similar. It's the same thing but it's worded just uh, slightly different where it says the sun shall be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars of heaven shall fall and the powers that are in heaven shall be shaken and then again in Luke 21 talking about the same exact thing alright in Luke 21 it says there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the seas and the waves, roaring men's hearts, failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. So it's interesting here, there's going to be absolutely no doubt it's the end of the world, in so much so that people that are not saved they're gonna know it and some of them their hearts are gonna fail them they're gonna have heart attacks they're gonna be weeping and gnashing of teeth there are gonna be people that are wailing because they know it's the end of the world alright so this great right well I'm sorry this great white throne that we read in verse 11 is when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven Revelation 1 verse 7 behold he comes with clouds and every eye shall see him and they also which pierced him that means even the dead people are gonna see him just like what we read in Daniel chapter 12 verse 2 um, where some will um, resurrect to everlasting life and some to everlasting shame or shame and everlasting contempt All right. many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt alright so in verse 11 when it's the end it is the end of the world all right and there's going to be no doubt about it and again in Matthew 24 Jesus is asked specifically what shall be the sign of thy coming of the end of the world and the end of the world is when he comes in the clouds of heaven it is the end of the world verse 11 all right make no mistake about it it's a one-time deal and that we're all putting our hope in, uh, into and we're looking forward to this world coming to an end just as Moses led his people out of Egypt out of the wickedness of Egypt God provided them an escape out of that wicked world that they were living in so also does God give us or provide us an escape out of this wicked world that we are currently living in.